All right, welcome to the Science Lounge here at Thornton Academy. I will do your review video from here. We have a, text, a test next class, so this is a pretty important one. Um, let's start with video six, where I talked about vectors and scalar quantities. And a vector is any um, quantity where we need direction as well as magnitude where I can go north or south or west or east, and those things matter. They affect what happens in that problem. Um, whereas a scalar quantity is something that only has a magnitude, something that only has an amount, something like mass or something like, um, I can't think of any right now off the top of my head, but there are a lot of them out there that we've talked about before. And the reason why we talked about these things is because we wanted to go into the subject of projectile motion. A projectile is something where, that is moving, that the only force acting on it is gravity. So really it is falling through the air in some way. Um, so a projectile is an object that is in motion where the only force acting on it is gravity. Um, projectile is something where the only motion uh, is moving through the air and the only force acting on it is gravity. And that gives us some weird attributes. Um, we have an x velocity that is constant. Because there's no force acting on it, there's nothing to slow it down or speed it up, we can say that the velocity in the x direction is constant. This will give us an x vector, where we have a changing velocity in the y direction. Um, because gravity is pulling it down, it's constantly increasing its speed downward. And we can then use these concepts and this idea of a horizontal vector plus a vertical vector to give us an actual path of motion. We call that a parabolic arc. The parabolic arc is the actual trajectory that a projectile will take. It's something like a curved line going downward. As it's going constantly in the horizontal direction, but it's being pulled faster and faster and faster in the vertical direction. We then came across these two equations that we can use to solve where, at any given time, the projectile will be in the x direction, as well as where it will be in the y direction. And we've had some good practice, I think, um, for these by now. But if you are still confused as to how to use these equations, review video 11. Video 11 is the one where I solved equations on uh, explain everything. So it's just me solving through a couple of equations. Lastly, we talked about uh, projectiles that are launched up. As opposed to straight out horizontally, we talked about projectiles that were launched up. We found that something interesting happened when you had two complementary angles. Two complementary angles are angles that, when added together, equal 90 degrees. So something that is launched at 70 degrees and something that is launched at 20 degrees will actually both have the same range. And range is that horizontal change in, in position, that horizontal displacement. And that is true for every complementary set of angles. So 60 and 30, same range. Um, the only thing that uh, doesn't really fall into that, oh, it does, but something that is more important about the degree that is 45, or uh, and a projectile launched at a 45 degree angle, is that that's the optimum angle if you want to get your most range. So the most range you can get, you want to launch something at a 45 degree angle. And I think that that covers most everything. Everything else should be covered in the review packet. Um, the answers to that will be up online as well, and I'll see you Wednesday for a test.